Hey everybody, it's Abel Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one of my favorite videos to uh, watch, to film. Honestly, I think this is the first like journaling video that I watched on YouTube and it introduced me to the whole journaling community. So I'm really, really excited to film another blank journal collection. I have actually filmed um, several of these at this point, but my collection has grown a lot uh, recently and obviously I'm nowhere near using up on my journals because I've been collecting them at a higher rate than I've been using them but I still um, I looked back at my old like my most recent blank journal collection and I used um, several of them in that video so it makes me feel like it's okay to share again all the blank journals I have I actually kind of want to say like 50% are new that may be overshooting but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All of them are in this box. You know what, that's a lie. There we go. Now all of them are in this box. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll start here. This uh, is just like a school notebook um, that I got at a thrift store. I thought it was pretty. I liked the rings. I don't normally go for spiral notebooks because um, the coils will tend to break, but because this is kind of like it's a nicer cover and nicer spiral um i did pick this up and again i got it at a thrift store several of these are from a thrift store that um you just pay the amount that you can and so a lot of them i don't actually have prices for um and that's this one i have a composition notebook um i just have an old book cover on it i don't know when i'll use this um but composition notebooks are you know, always a classic to go to. I have this one that I'm thinking about using this spring. Oh, it is just so cute. I got it at a thrift store, but it's from uh, Daiso, it looks like. Um, and I was told by a viewer that it says, um, take time to rest on the cover in French. And I just think it's adorable. Um, it has three sections. There's a blue section. Wow, I opened it right up to the end of the first blue section. And then there's a pink section. And then there's another blue section in the back. And part of me is like, could I use this for my school this semester? Like, perhaps these? Oh, that would be cute. That's very spring semester vibes. I don't know. I, I also might just use it as like a regular journal uh, because it's just so cute and... Um, yeah, I just, I love this journal. I think it's adorable. So I think I'll either use it for like school this semester or I'll use it this spring or some springtime. I don't know. It's very springy to me. Um, ooh. This has some information I can't show you. <laughs> now it no longer has information I can't show you. So this, again, at a thrift store is where I got this. And it's a three ring binder um, with the like ring settled on the side. Or is it a two ring? No, yeah, it's a three ring binder. Um, I don't know what the brand is. Oh, Mara Me. Um, and then inside it, it came with a bunch of sleeves, just like page protectors essentially. And then these pink uh, filler pages by the brand Green Room. So I don't know if I will use this like a regular journal. Um, it's kind of big to carry around. I actually, I was keeping some of my documents in here um, just because it's a like a good place to keep that so I'm not not entirely sure what I will use this for but I love like the six ring binders that people I don't think they're as popular like right now but in the past couple of years they've been pretty popular and I kind of wanted to try one of those out and so when I saw this that, that was kind of the closest thing to that that there was so here's this Next, I'm gonna go with these super tiny journals in the corner here. Um, this one I got recently at a thrift store for 39 cents and it's by the brand Meridian Line. Did I need this notebook? Uh, no, I absolutely didn't because obviously I have a bunch of other small notebooks, but I loved this. I thought this was so cute. It says, be dareful out there with a bear. And then the inside is actually very different from any of the other like small notebooks. It's like kind of a faint, tiny grid pattern with a border and a little arrow. And I actually thought this would be like a really cute like Polaroid album. I don't know. 
Actually, I do have some, I have some Polaroids up on my walls and I have some Polaroids that I don't have. So maybe, maybe this could be a little Polaroid album. Maybe I'll have it a gratitude journal or I don't know. It's just so cute and it makes me want to adventure, you know? Um, this is the next small notebook. This was in my last uh, blank journal collection. Got it at a thrift store. Uh, it's just a little Paris book with some gold on it and a little magnet closure. Um, the brand is Punch Studio. Um, I really hope that this is all in frame. I can't see the camera right now, so I'm just really hoping. Um, but it's got this same little design on each page. I really like this notebook. I think it's really nice. I think it's really beautiful. And I'm gonna use it for my next gratitude journal, I think. That's what I've got my site set on this for. So I'll be using this later in the year. And then I have a little uh, pocket moleskin. Um, it's just plain. Again, got this at a thrift store for like 29 cents maybe. It's got a little pocket in the back. Um, yeah, not much to it. And then I have another little pocket moleskin that says Finny Media, and it's still in the um, saran wrap because I haven't wanted to use it yet. Custom editions, okay. Um, so it looks like this was made for this company and it's lined, I can tell from the side. So don't know what or when I'll use this for, maybe just another gratitude journal down the line or, you know, whatever. And then I have two of these um, Muji notebooks. Um, these were both in my last uh, blank journal collection and I have a third one that I'm using right now. It's my little like passwords notebook. Um, and I might start using one of these to take like mass notes like for when I go to church, but I haven't decided that yet. But I do really like, they're, they're a nice like medium size. Like they're not the smallest, but they have lines and they're big enough that I can still write in them. So I really like these. They were probably no more than 50 cents at a thrift store. Okay, and now shall we go from left to right or right to left? I think left to right because this is new and I wanna share it. It's Happy Planner. So I actually got this at a thrift store uh, just the other day. I went to one of the Goodwill bins outlets where you just like dig through the bins and then you buy things by the pound. So I have no idea how much this was. Um, but I knew that it was Happy Planner. I knew that it was Happy Planner brand from the discs. And this is a, a planner brand that I've looked at um, on YouTube. And it didn't come with the whole year and it actually was used a bit, but it was like, for the most part, unused. It came with a bunch of expense inserts that I don't think I'll use. Like I, this is like half of what is in here. I don't know why. Clearly the person that bought it didn't need it. But um, yeah, I actually, the current passion planner I'm using is going to end in May. So I'll probably use this as my next planner. Um, so that's kind of nice and cool. Though I might get different inserts. I guess it just kind of depends. But like these, this, I don't know how useful this side of the spread will be. And that's what is on the back of every weekly spread. But I just have always liked the concept of Happy Planner and I think it's very interesting and, you know, found it at a thrift store. So, you know, why not, um, why not get it? Okay, so next, um, this was in my last blank journal collection and I'm so excited because I have plans to use it, you guys. I am going to World Youth Day. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's a basically a celebration of Catholic youth and Pope John Paul II, who is like, my favorite person um, started it. And I found this uh, Mead travel journal for $5 at a thrift store and it was completely unused and I just couldn't resist getting it. I actually have some just of my own travel stickers in here. Um, it comes with lots of pockets. It comes with some stickers. Like I said, more pockets, um, lined pages with a spot for the date. Um, each section has you know, a pocket and a tab, craft pages, and then lastly, some um, grid paper. And this I'm going to be taking on my trip to World Youth Day. I'm actually going on a pilgrimage 
um, through France, Spain, and Portugal, and I'm going to be turning 22 on this trip. So it's just like, this is, I, I said in a past video, like I wanted to save this for like a trip to Europe or something, and I can't believe I have that trip, like, planned and I'm just I'm so excited you can't even see how squinty my eyes are right now because I'm smiling so hard but I am just so excited to use this journal and for all of the stories that it's going to hold so the next journal is one that my mom bought me um from I oh gosh I can't remember now I think it was the Frank Lloyd Wright house in Chicago maybe but it's a notebook for visual thinkers, grids and guides. And I have no clue how I'm going to use this, you guys, because look at it. It's like a blank journal, but not. And I'm, I'm not something of a scientist myself. Um, but I, I mean, I think it's interesting and I'm happy my mom thought of me. I mean, that's really cute. And look at that skeleton, there we go. But yeah, so this, do you guys have any idea how I should use this? Because I'm not like a science person and these look like things a science or math person would need. <laughs> and I'm an algebra person, but I have not taken a math class since high school because I have no need to for my degree. Um, next is my um, next art journal slash current at home art journal. Uh, I featured this in a video before too. I Got it at a thrift store. It's from the brand Stillman and Burn. And um, I just put all of these stickers on it. It's just plain black um, and it was quite used, which I really don't mind. Um, and I've done just a few pages in it, but I'm going to be, um, I'm, I'm almost done with my current art journal and I'll be like moving into this one full time when I am done with that one. Um, so it's just kind of waiting on the shelf for me. And then my next backup art journal will be this one. Um, this doesn't look like a, it has a brand. Uh, and it's just a black spiral notebook with some blank cream pages. And this will be my next art journal after, after that one that I just featured. Again, got this at a thrift store. I can't remember if there was a price on it or not. Um, but it's just a nice little notebook perfect, perfect little art journal. Okay, next is a journal that has been featured before. Um, man, I think I overshot with the estimate that half of these haven't been shown, but uh, this one has been shown um, maybe in a haul though and not in the collection. I can't remember, but it, it's just a big journal by uh, Brother and Sister Design Studio. Um, it kind of has some marks on it. It's got like the a clear uh, cover, kind of flexible. Sounds weird when you put your fingernails on it. Um, it says, walk by faith, not by sight. And I really, I actually really like this design on the inside, but the page is kind of wrinkled. So I'm like, should I, should I tear that out? Should I leave it there? What do you, what do you guys think I should do about that? Because like, I like the design, but you can see that it's like wrinkled and marked up. Um, and some people had written like words of wisdom in it um before but they were all kind of weird so i tore them out but it's just this nice big spiral notebook i don't know if i would use this for a regular journal or if i would use this for a prayer journal um i think i said in the video where i hauled this that i feel like it's a very adult book that's sort of weird the way that it came out but like i don't know it's just like big and mature looking i suppose like i feel like i would be in this for a long time and I don't know, I'm not quite ready for it yet, but I do look forward to using it. Um, the next book is a prayer journal. Probably will be my next prayer journal. Um, this is in my last blank journal collection. I got it at a thrift store, I think it's adorable. He has made everything beautiful, which I agree. I think God's love is shown in the beauty of his creation every day. Wow, got a little soapy there. Um, but oh my gosh, this is just the cutest journal. It is um, spiral bound. It is by uh, Brownlow Scripture Journals. Uh, yeah, 2006. Um, but I love the little quilt design. And then um, each page has little uh, 
quotes from the Bible, I guess. Um, yeah, I haven't actually read any of them, but I, I like uh, spiral bound notebooks. Wow, that squeaked. I like spiral bound notebooks, uh, which probably anybody knows if they've seen any of my videos, but um, this will probably be in use within the next two months, maybe sooner. Um, okay, next journal, I don't know why I sang that, is this, uh, actually bullet bound, not bullet bound, okay, next journal is this spiral, uh, notebook that I got, again, at Goodwill, Two fifty nine is what I paid for it, and the brand, oh my gosh, somebody wrote in it, I never noticed that before, every day is another chance to live, heart, XOXO, I don't know what that says, any clues um important dates on the back and then in the front oh pin and gear um they have a little bookmark stencil ruler thing and then personal info bullet key yeah pin and gear and it's just a little bullet notebook so um i might use it at some point i don't well i mean obviously i hope i use it i don't know if i would use it for bullet journaling i don't know if i'd use it for art journaling, regular journaling, whatever it is. Um, the front of it says gratitude, which is a little random. I mean, not that I don't like gratitude. I, I gratitude journal all the time. Um, but I don't know if a bullet journal is, I don't know why it says gratitude. Anyways, it does have a pin loop on the front, which is kind of fun. So there's that. Um, next journal is this amazing spiral notebook that I actually got the same day I got that. And I paid $159 for it. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so cute. Um, guys, I love cats. I love cats. And here is a rainbow pile of cats with a background that is essentially my favorite color. And it's a spiral notebook. And I got it at the thrift store. And it's got nice lines. Oh, and a little pocket in the back. And no brand. This is not okay. The people need to know. But I think I might use this next summer. It depends, because I actually have another notebook that I want to use for summer. And it is this one that I got at a thrift store again, but I didn't pay a certain amount. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like there is a brand for it. Oh my gosh, and I realized this actually not that long ago. So I really like the design. I really like the design. It has like the Nashville skyline and some kids, a graduate, NASA summer zone. I don't know what NASA stands for. I assume something to do with Nashville. I don't know. But um, that's why I wanna use it as a summer notebook because it's spiral bound and it has you know summer zone on it and I'll be graduated this summer. Um, and I realized that only the front side of the pages has lines. So half of it's actually blank. And you can definitely see the lines through, so I could practically use that, but that's, it's kind of, I don't know if that's why, there are a few more of these at the thrift store with it, and I don't know if that was like an error, or if that's why people weren't buying it, but I actually am looking forward to this. I might put some more, um, you know, pages to decorate, or pages, I might put some stickers to decorate it, because it's kind of a plain cover, but I like, I like that it says Summer Zone, I like the kids, I like the Nashville skyline, I think it's super cute, and I think this is gonna be a really good uh, journal for me next summer. Um, okay, and then I have this journal, which I just think is quite adorable. Let me replace these. Okay, this one doesn't have a brand on it, also thrifted, also spiral bound. It looks like it used to have a back pocket, but it does not anymore. Um, and it is uh, lined with pink lines it says notes at the top and has a little um floral stem at the bottom this one was in my last blank journal collection um I look forward to using this one this actually might be maybe I'll use this one this spring I really like the cover um and I don't know I feel like it's like a nice neutral spring journal but like I feel like it would be easy to carry around in my backpack so maybe I will use this one this spring I think that would be a good journal to use Oh, so cute. I just love, I just, you guys, I love journals and it is a problem. Look how many there are. <laughs> okay, next journal is, I guess, um, my next fall journal. I'm not sure. 
I mean, I assume I'll use it during the fall. But um, this is a thrifted journal. Uh, Kinkade End of a Perfect Day 3. Uh, confused by that. Maybe that's the name of the painting or something. But well, it looks like there's two paintings. Oh, wait, no. It looks like it's one painting, but they split it like, like this. So, anyway, beautiful fall cabin in the woods with a natural lake setting. You got some ducks, you know, perfect, a perfect day. Um, Thomas Kincaid, Painter of Light. This page is removable. And it says, create a journal on the inside. I don't know what that means. Um, but it has art in it. It has stickers in it for you to label things. And it has pockets in it. Um, oh, it looks like you put the pocket, or you could put the labels on these little spot on the pocket. Okay, that's cool. Um, but then there's also the little house and the painting on every page. Um, there's just like a very light design. It's just a really pretty and very unique journal. Perfect for fall. So I guess this is what I'll be using next fall because autumn girlies unite. <laughs> I'm a summer person, but I do appreciate fall. So there's that. And then I guess my next year's Christmas journal. Um, I found this at a thrift store again. This is by the brand Studio 18. Um, and it has a little family of reindeer and a little cardinal, which uh, cardinals are like a symbol of my uh, Grammy in my family. Um, she just loved birds and um, it, it just it's just a symbol of our grandmother. So um, that makes me happy. And it's got this really pretty design on the inside, red lines, again, uh, lined with the design, a nice spiral notebook. This will be just a really good Christmas season notebook. So we'll get, you know, I'll get the fall season in and then I'll get the Christmas season in and all will be well and good with the world. At least we hope. Um, okay, this is a new journal. I got it just the other day and no, there's a blemish. Ah, oh, my heart. Okay, so this unique, unique story. So I got this also at the bins of Goodwill where you just dig through and, you know, find it. Um, that's where I got this. I don't know if I said that. This one, I don't, uh, uh, one thrift store, I don't know. Um, but look at this cover. I mean, how gorgeous. So there's like these cranes and a tree, like just gorgeous, right? And then you open it up. It's a Coptic bound journal, definitely like handmade. Um, not perfect, but that's okay. I've made a Coptic bound journal before and it was not perfect and I gifted it to somebody and I hope they still loved it. So I look forward to using this. Elena Humph wrote in this in 2015 and it's Peter Popper Press Pages. So if any of you guys have ideas about what is up with this, I'm confused. She wrote on the front page and that's it. So questions, can I rip this out or will it make everything fall apart? Or at least part of the signature? Like, will the other half of this page fall out? And then number two, do you think somebody, like, removed this from another Peter Popper Press journal and, like, added their own? Or did Peter Popper Press, like, sell a kit to make a journal? Does anybody have any idea? Because it's like, Peter Popper Press is, like, a beautiful journal-making company, but I don't, I, I don't think they do kind of whoppy jawed Coptic journaling like binding. I don't know. I really don't know, but it's beautiful. And I found it and I was like, this is a good day. This is a good day at the thrift store. Cause I found this beautiful book. Um, and I don't know if I would use this for a prayer journal or a regular journal. I mean, either, um, this would also be like a nice fall journal. Cause it's just so, so beautiful. And it has kind of those darker, beautiful colors to them. Okay. The next journal is another recent one. I actually got this for free. And I showed it in the, the most recent book haul. I haven't taken the sticker off, and I really should, but I'm not going to do that now. Dream Planner Inspired by the Dream Giver. I don't know if I would use this as a dream journal or not, um, but it's just a weird book. <laughs> it's not completely blank. It's patterned. It's got some pictures. It's got some quotes based on the Dream Giver. Um, okay, so it, I don't know. I have no idea 
anything about this other than it's mostly blank and I guess I'll use it for something. Maybe I'll use it as a prayer journal. That seems kind of cool. Ah, oh, look how beautiful that is. Yeah, maybe this will be, this would be a good prayer journal. I like that. Okay, cool. Glad I have that figured out. Okay. Next books are from McKay's, uh, which is a used bookstore. I actually just did a book haul from there. Um, I don't, let's see if I have the price, the price still in here. Okay, $2 for this journal that um, has a, okay, it just has M and a star. I don't know what that is, but it actually has a, oh, Target stores. Okay. It has like a journal cover on it that probably used to squish around. It no longer does, but there's still sparklies in it, and I love that. And then I also just think that the cover is beautiful. Um, and it was $2. Let's see. It has nice lines on it. It has a spot for the date. Very faint gray lines. And no writing in it. And a really beautiful purple ribbon. So I don't know when I'll use this, but I, I just think it's beautiful. Um, so I picked it up. Okay, next journal. I love this one. Got it the same day at McKay's. It is a Slytherin journal. Um, believe it or not, I am a Slytherin. This one I paid $6 for. It's got like felt, green felt, and Slytherin and a snake um, stitched into the cover. And I mean, wow, how beautiful. It has a little snake decal at the top, or design I should say, and a black ribbon. Ooh, this would be a good, like, Halloween, fall, winter journal. Oh, yes. I just love it. I think it's beautiful. And when I first found out I was Slytherin, I was upset. You know, everybody wants to be a Gryffindor. But I took the test a second time, and I got Slytherin again. And ever since then, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to embrace it. Cunning just means clever in a negative tone. But, but you know, I love this journal. I think it's beautiful. I also love this journal a whole heckin' ton. This one, again, from McKay's um, Museum Notes, National Gallery of Art, Washington, a Catch It production. Ooh, and it was made in the USA. So this, um, I don't exactly know the whole story behind it, but it's basically a journal with a a cover with an art piece on the front. I got this for $2. Um, it has a cute little design in the corners and very faint lines and no writing in it. So that is a pretty good deal if you ask me. I think it's beautiful. This would be a really good summer, spring, summer. I don't know, I'm just like imagining like sitting in like a field or a hill the sound of music style and just like sitting and journaling as the wind blows through my hair. Oh yeah, that's the goal. That's the vibe. Okay, next is uh, another thrifted journal. Uh, this one doesn't have a brand. This one I know I featured in my last one, my last blank journal collection that is, and it is just plain pages, baby. I think I wish I, it was lined, but that's okay. I don't know when I will use it. Um, I could use it as a regular journal or a prayer journal. I just think it's very beautiful. Um, I love the rhinestones on it. I love the butterflies, the flowers, this little design. Um, I look forward to using this. I don't know when that will be, but I look forward to using it. Okay, next journal is another potential travel journal, though we'll see if I actually use it for that. Um, it has a map of Paris on it. I got it at a thrift store for, I think, 99 cents uh, by the brand Fringe studio um has 96 lined pages this is the inside cover very pretty it has gold edging on it and the lines are just a light gray like most of the others and there's a nice little welcome message from the previous owner that i have kept in there because i think it's cute <laughs> okay next is too blessed to be stressed again came from a thrift store uh, U Style Collections is the brand, and light blue with a little flower design, um, single signature stitched right down the middle, uh, so like soft cover. Um, I don't know when I will use this. Um, 
and I have I've written one page in it because I was afraid that the lines would be too thin for me but I don't think they are wow it's almost been almost a year since I wrote this so we'll see when I use it and we'll see what I use it for um, but it's just sitting here until then and then I have another journal that's very similar to that one signature it is by brother sister design studio um, a little like wood grain with some more florals be lovely and kind this one has definitely wider lines to it, which I don't necessarily mind. This would also be a really good um, springtime journal because of the flowers. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of like nice and lightweight. Um, yeah. Okay, next journal. I think it was in my last one. It says Bright Ideas. I got this at Goodwill. Let's see. It doesn't look like the tag is still in there. Um, gold inside. Um, I had to fix it up. I just put some gold washi tape, but it's not much. Uh, and it looks like there's absolutely no writing. I love this notebook. I think it's so beautiful. I love the way that this feels. I might actually use this before I graduate. Like this also might be a spring journal. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like this could be a vibe. Oh, so cute, so cute. But I don't know. I could use this for anything. I, ugh, it's just so cute. Possibilities are endless, you guys. Possibilities are endless. Okay, next is um, a journal that I got from Dear Evan Hansen when it toured in my area. Um, it's a paperback. It has a nice little elastic to close it. And then every day it says, it says the date. And today is going to be a good day and here's why. And I'm not sure how I'm going to use it because I could use it in the morning the way that Evan does. And like write myself a letter or I could do morning pages I suppose like do like front and back but I don't know if that would necessarily always you know fit the prompt of today is going to be a good day and here's why I could use it as a gratitude journal um I'm not actually sure so if you have any ideas let me know um I don't know where you could buy this journal if you wanted to it was about $15 I think um, so, I mean, it's kind of like a novel thing. It's like a piece of merch. Um, but you know, I, I'll use it eventually. <laughs> That's my catchphrase, but I actually do. I mean, I'm consistently using journals, so I think, and almost all of them are secondhand. So, you know, I guess I could have worse spending purchasing habits, but you know, that's what they all say. <laughs> um, next is this little black journal. It's says circle on there so I'm pretty sure it's a Target brand. I'm actually um, still working in a, a red one of these. Um, I found it red and black. Not used. Little journals. These, I mean it's just neutral perfect for any time. I actually really like this size of journal too. This one has a ribbon though the other ribbon ripped out really like early into use so I'm a little skeptical about that. Um, but yeah I mean this is just a classic I can do whatever I want with it essentially next is this adorable little journal by paper destiny it's just a little like soft paper cover blue um, it's got little lines in it I mean very small I don't know exactly what I'll use it for I it could just be like like a, a quick springtime journal this is also just one signature sewn down the middle very little stitches it's just a very like dainty book and i i kind of want to use it daintily does that make any sense i don't know i just think it's a beautiful beautiful journal again got it at the thrift store which you know this is in really good shape because it's kind of a like it, it's literally just a paper cover so i really like this i think it's just so beautiful um yeah and then the last book I have in here is my 300 Drawing Prompts uh, book by Piccadilly, I believe. Yeah, Piccadilly. Um, and you can actually see it's I, it's been sitting on my windowsill and I still haven't used it, so that's why I included it in this video. Um, but this lightning is actually from the sun, um, which I don't, I don't mind, I really don't. But um, yeah, it's got 300 Drawing Prompts. Um, like Olympic medals and weeping willows and computer from the future. <laughs> so, um, there you go. I got this at a thrift store for like maybe like three or five dollars. I'm not entirely sure, 
very different from, you know, everything else. I don't have anything with prompts in it. I'm not a big prompt person. Um, I just like to write what I like to write. And I don't like the confines of like having to stick to something. And I guess you don't have to stick to something because uh, it's your journal or whatever, but I just prefer not to write with prompts. I generally don't really need them. So those are all of my journals. Um, I hope my <laughs> camera captured all of that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So let me know in the comments, what is your favorite journal that I have? If you have any ideas for how I should use these and um, anything else you wanna share. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.